How are you, you guys? How you doing? I'm doing Great. good. So I was talking to you before. Uh, you guys are from Austin. Yes. Austin, Texas. And you are in the heart of a road trip right now. Yes, we are smack dab in the middle of it right now. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, how's that treating you? It's... You know, this is our first tour. It's been a little, I mean, it's been amazing, right. of course. Sure, it's great. But um, we had two back-to-back -back overnight drives, and we rented a 38-foot RV right. for this trip, you know? Okay. Sweet. Because I just, I mean, we've got six people in the band. We are driving so far. It's just nice to be able, you know, to relax a little bit. Yeah, you need that. That's the, that's the yeah. whole difference. Yeah, it is. It's well, this is the one thing that really sucks about the RV. <laughs> There's a toilet on it, yeah, okay. which sounds amazing. And to me, that I I have to go to the bathroom. I pee a lot. I'm just right. saying, like I pee a lot. <laughs> Girls usually pee more than guys. They, the guys get so. mad because we have to pull over all the time. So it was a really good um, situation for me. But there is something wrong with the septic tank. Oh no! And mm. it literally smells like we are driving in a porter potty. No, oh. We're oh. sleeping in a porter potty. It, you know, it's all part of the experience. Right, no, I know. You're right. Uh, having a bathroom. I'm trying to have a positive attitude about it. <laughs> <laughs> having a bathroom on the bus or the, the RV whatever, is good and bad. See, to me, I skeeve everything. It's mostly bad. Mm. I, 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 I just think we're driving the toilet. We're driving a toilet with wheels. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's yeah, that's how they, they fix we that? are driving a toilet. That is exactly what we are doing. Now, are the guys, guys of, uh, you know, well, we're all guys. I mean, yeah. are you uh, are, are you sensitive to this problem or you don't care? No. Yeah, they're just like, well, Patrick, our drummer yeah. right there, he's, he okay. is the ultimate handyman. He has brought a huge bag of tools. This is the one problem that he has not been able to fix in mm. the RV. He has been able to fix everything else. Well, is there something wrong with the septic tank, or is it just? That's like, what you know? I think. No. It's well, no. It's just it's just there's a bunch of crap on the bus. Yeah. Well, no one's <laughs> crapping in the bus though. No, no that's is that a rule? Is there no crap? Yeah. That's the rule. Nobody craps on the bus. Someone's no. secretly crapping on the bus. Yeah, that's that, the yeah. thing. Who's, who's, that's always who the is rule. It? Who? Yeah. John. Well, I are you asking me? Is it okay if I poop just a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you do that. Yeah, right? I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you poop just... I mean, look at me. I don't know how to poop just a little bit. So, in other words, but, so, I, so, but wait a minute. Yeah. So, okay, you, you handle... Because stuff like this fascinates me. Yeah. And it is gross, the whole toilet situation. Again, It's that, fun to talk about, though. That, that's, where, that's where God screwed up, the whole going to the bathroom thing. It's like, you know... Really screwed that one it's up. It's where we're exactly like animals, except we've developed bathrooms and everything, but... Yeah. You no, uh, well, I was in India for about a month. Bad, and bad move. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I have learned how to, how to, you know, I, you I've, learned how to poop in, I've learned how to poop in very, very dire situations. Yeah, no, it's, it's no, I mean, guy, yeah. look, I've done the road for, on and off for 25 years doing stand-up, so I, I've taken some embarrassing craps. Yeah. And, uh, but, but it is a very double-edged sword, because when you make the no-poop rule, uh, someone is going to break it. And then yeah. you guys Absolutely. stop. Does someone say, look, you got to stop. I got to do number two. So we have to stop. Have to stop. And how you know, often does that happen? Well, we stop quite a bit because that thing, you know, you drive. How long do you have to? I mean, you've got to fill that tank up a million times a day. Right. You know what I mean? So we're stopping. <laughs> unless unless someone on the bus has to poop six times a day. Right. Which Morgan claims that he does. <laughs> oh, no. A lot of protein everyone's okay. in your diet. No one has to ask, ask That's, to that's a problem. I know. He thinks, yeah. What about adult diapers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's, that's we we had that. a couple ideas today. What was it, the hot pan? No, it's the hot plate, babe. The hot plate. The hot plate. <laughs> it's the hot plate. It's where you, you stick a bag in the toilet, and then you use the bathroom, and then you run out and you say, hey, hot plate, hot plate, <laughs> and you throw it out the door on the floor. See, that's what happens. <laughs> on the road, all these wonderful games get invented. Too. Yeah, we've mm. gotten some great games. We have the license plate game. What is that? Right. You put anal in front of whatever the car is. <laughs> That's not the license plate, though. Oh, the... sorry, I said license plate. The car game. It just reminds me of license plate. Yeah, I, I, uh, like uh, anal you know, gremlin. Anal right. excursion. If anal I were, uh, <laughs> it, it, she'd probably me too. I'd be, I'd be awful on the bus because if you, if you try to pass time, try to pass time playing poker. Uh, a lot of my friends know this. My tell in poker. I have a tell. If I get a great card, I violently crap my pants. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I get an Asian... <laughs> <laughs> so now, what were the open... So where are you off to next now? Next, we're playing Rockwood, Rockwood Music Hall tomorrow. 
in Okay, yeah. where's that? That's Lower East Side, Manhattan. Okay, so you're, yeah. you're in town. We're here. We've been, we know we played the Knitting Factory last night. Cool venue. We did the Ron and Fez show yesterday. Right. Which was fun. And um, then we're headed to Memphis. Now, where is the RV right now? Morgan parked that thing. <laughs> where in Manhattan. Is it? <laughs> on Crosby, it's on Crosby and Grand. How? Okay. I I'm could, serious. I that is park, where the RV is. I right. couldn't park in Crosby. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, jeez. I couldn't. I couldn't park a motorcycle on Crosby and Grand. They're just holding gear. I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I That's mean, old New York. Manhattan is a bunch of, uh, you know, just yeah. a bunch yeah. of. Uh, well, we had a master plan, and it was to, you know, drive to Queens. There was a Walmart because RVs can park, at, you know. At, Is that a lot of to say? Like a Walmart That's parking a... lot, you can you can park. Right, you yeah. can okay. park at a Walmart Trust parking lot overnight. They don't bother you. It's the least Walmart can do to give back a little bit. The violence. It's the <laughs> least that they can do, right? Yeah. yeah. So we were going to do that, but we, I mean, we had driven from. We left Ohio at midnight. We got to New York at about 10 a.m. I think we were all just so exhausted that we didn't want to have to deal right. with Walmart number one. Yeah. You know, and, and... You never know what could happen. You, you never you see, know. You have it the worst. Uh, you and the, Who's the other singer? I'm sorry. This is Lady B right here. Hey, Lady B. Great job. You know, you guys, you you know, as far as getting rest, you have to rest your voices. Yeah. That's I'm a little hoarse right now. But... Yeah, that's hard to do. Like, you really mm -hmm. got to... You know, like, uh, lead singers throughout the 70s and 60s talk about all the partying that... And cigarettes that the, mm -hmm. the guitar players that smoke. That still and happens. I don't don't let you, anybody fool you. You can't really do that as a singer, right? Because you got to preserve your voice. You have. I think the the number one rule for singer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really one to. <laughs> She's like, you can't do it as much. As much. <laughs> <laughs> right, you take exactly. care of yourself. You eat healthy, and you just have to kind of put up with it in a lot of ways. You need to know how to sing. Yeah, technically. That's, well, that helps. And yeah. you need to <laughs> shut up. Right. You know, during the day. The best thing is to just not talk if you can help it. Cabbage yeah. juice. But Doesn't I've been, it, oh yeah, cabbage juice. Doesn't your voice kind of get in shape like any other right. muscle? Yes. Like exactly. You can, if you're on tour, exactly. you can. It, you can come out of it with your voice stronger. Yeah. The more you sing, the stronger your voice is. So you have to do vocal exercise, right. but not necessarily talk a lot. The thing is, is people sing, if you're a singer, you sing technically right. You know, if you okay. know how to. But when you're talking, Without you straining. might not know how to talk. Right. right. Well, the other problem being in a band, a lot of times you get into arguments. That's correct. Especially we yell at each other. Especially yeah. if you're dating someone. Like you said your boyfriend's in the band. Yeah, this is John Evans right there. That's my boyfriend. So, so if, if you guys <laughs> he produced date, the record too. You, well, great job. First of all, it sound you sound guys sound great. You're really talented, and Cheers. and but if you have uh, you know a relationship going on in a band where there's arguments anyway, mm -hmm. as a singer, if you get into a loud argument. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's my problem. You know, I don't think that we've screamed at each other yet on tour. But oh, good. She she's learned how to scream correctly. <laughs> I'm learning how to scream correctly. I'm, I, you know, I haven't been talking with my father lately. So, well, and not because we're in an argument, but just because my father and I, the way that we communicate, that's the way they, we we just yell. Yelling. Mm. We just we're a yelling kind of duo right intense yeah so i've, I've definitely been texting him because well, of less. something you guys are doing uh, is right and uh, we appreciate you. you coming on i guess the album in technicolor that's the album you're touring in support of now is that the yeah. new album yes new in, te album. in technicolor it's emily bell and how do we find you on twitter and stuff like that do you do all that stuff facebook and everything i do else? i do um i have a lot of help with that too which is great emily so bell, emily bell music emily is bell my music. twitter Twitter handle. Okay. And then you can find me on Facebook, Emily Bell, and my website is emilybell.com. Great. And uh, yeah, go ahead, John. I wanted to ask John about oh, his right. uh, his football career. I mean, yeah. He was a quarterback. He oh, no throw the rock out here. Where? New York, New Jersey Knights, the old World League oh, of no, American oh, Football. Oh, no kidding, really? Yeah. That's awesome. Man. That was I mean, fun. I, I was a FX Sil. S Sillerman was the, the owner of FX that. Sillerman, that's yeah. right. That guy, that, that's an entrepreneur times 10, that totally. guy. Totally. Yeah, that guy's a brilliant guy, FX Sillerman. So, right. now, so you probably learned to, con you probably learned to control your poop there, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> right so on. you played there a couple of years, and then, yeah. and then what happened? You just hung it up? Football broke my heart, and I, it, it made me write country songs. <laughs> I understand. That'll do it. It drove me to country music. That'll yeah. do it. Well, uh, listen, yeah. uh, you guys come back anytime, and uh, good luck. With, where's your next gig? You're plugging. You got Manhattan, and then where are you off to after that? Memphis. Then we're playing the five and one in Memphis. 
Wow, so Rockwood cool. Music Hall tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Then you're driving to Memphis. Then we're driving to Memphis. We've got a day. We, we have Sunday, so we'll drive on Sunday, and then we're playing Monday night. Get out the septic time. Yeah, uh, I know. It's going to be smelly. All right, well, listen, good luck with everything, guys. Uh, great job, and uh, much good fortune, all right? Thanks Come for back anytime. That's Emily Bell in the band, and we'll uh, be right back with the rest of the Artie Lang Show after these words.